some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere out in Pennsylvania with a sovereign citizen well, who is a definitely a true sovtard because he takes it to the absolute limit and doesn't stop. Because at this time, he has been, been pulled over for expired registration and he believes it's against his Fifth Amendment right to show it to the officer because he thinks it'll be used against him in a court of law. Yeah, you heard me right. That's just really, really well stupid and you know what they say you can't fix stupid so at any rate let's go ahead and sit back relax and enjoy the show oh, that's no, tasty I... you good sir can you run the window a little bit farther please i think that's good okay your um registration is expired on this vehicle 11 of 2011 oh yeah yeah okay so your license registration insurance uh can those documents be used against me in a court of law I'm sorry? Can those documents be used no, against me in a court of law? <laughs> yeah, you have to provide me those documents, sir. Can those documents be used against me in a court of law? Yeah, your name and date of birth. Dude, the state of Pennsylvania requires you to have those documents on you at all time when you are driving a motor vehicle. And you are required to show them to the officer when you have been pulled over for a traffic stop. You bloody moron. Then you haven't answered my question. Yes, they can. So. Well, then under the Fifth Amendment, I do not agree. That's not exactly how the Fifth Amendment works. In fact, I think you might be referring to the Fourth Amendment, but even then, you're still uh, way off base considering the Tenth Amendment allows for uh, states to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution. So I really do think that uh, you have really got yourself confused here. So uh, here's a box of crayons. Now you can head over to the kitty table and uh, start uh, by picking your favorite color, putting it in a blender, and turning it into your favorite liquid snack. A crayon-flavored milkshake. Sir. Okay, just take that for me real quick, okay? Sir. Yeah. You do have to give me your name. Ah, anything that can be used against me in the Sir, you have to I give me your name. Is this vehicle yours? Yes. Uh, was, is it in your name? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, what name might that be? I can get it off Comp Center, sir. I know you can. You don't have to be a hard time. I can work with you here. This is just uh, expired registration. Okay? Yes. So, what is your name, please? Uh, I, I, do, I do not consent to this conversation. Think type. Six and a half hours later. Tip all the people. Uh, I, I have a question. So, if I refuse to give you these documents, what happens? You go to jail. You have to give me your. You have to at least give me okay, your name. Okay, okay. I, have, I have another you have question. To give then. Me your, let me finish. You're starting to piss me off. You have to give me your at least an ID, okay? And you're refusing to do that. I have enough probable cause here to get your ID. All right? And you're refusing to do that. I can throw you in handcuffs, take you out, and get your fingerprinted, and wait till you see who who you really are. How will we do that? To him, that probably sounds like fun. I mean, why else is he refusing to cooperate with anything that you're doing? So, if you take me to jail, what happens to my vehicle? We well, get towed. Are you aware under the under U.S. Code 18, uh, Section 242, that is a violation of deprivation of rights under color of law? How Punish is that? Punishable by a ten thousand dollar fine per infraction. Dude, this has nothing to do with the traffic laws. This has everything to do with civil rights, the equal treatment of everybody under the law, no matter their race, religion, sexual orientation, and all that other stuff. You are not being treated any differently than any other person would be if they had gotten stopped for a expired registration plate. 
The only difference here is you want to act like a complete dumbass, and that is exactly why you're about to end up with a shiny new pair of bracelets. Okay, so that's $30,000 you just offered me. Okay. Now how now how how is under that a US code forty two you are trying to force me to give you these documents. Dumbass you dumbass you're a dumbass such a dumbass you're an ass Wow soft hard you're not getting anything right tonight uh US code forty two is all about public health and safety. It has nothing to do with traffic stops or violations or anything of that nature. So why don't you just go ahead, give up, and go back to school and get an education because the one you've got now needs a lot of improvement. Sir, I have enough. When, an offer, when a police officer pulls you over, you are supposed to give him the documents he needs. Under the Fifth Amendment, anything that I hand you can be used against me and I do not have to. Can I, can you took I, an oath to uphold the U.S. Constitution? Guys, can I see any IDs in here? No? There's no need for you to have my ID. What's that? There's no need for you to have my I ID. I want to see if anybody's wanted in this. Something tells me that the collective IQ between everybody in that car would not exactly equal a triple digit number. You have no right to do that. There hasn't even been a crime yes, committed. Yes, there has. You're driving an unregistered vehicle and that by itself. Who has been injured? Sir. Who is the injured party? Okay, here we go. The no victim, no crime uh, fallacy that these soft hearts love to spew out. Dude, you don't need to have a victim for a crime. A traffic violation is considered to be a very minor crime. It's nothing to worry about, but you're making more of this than it should be if you would have just given him your driver's license. It probably would have resolved fairly quickly and without any incident. But seeing as how I've already watched this video anyway, I can already determine that, well, you have an IQ uh, less than that of a garden slug. And therefore, it seems like you uh, lack any critical thinking skills or the ability to make proper decisions that an adult would normally make. To put it into terms uh, that even you can understand, soft hard, you have less than a kindergarten level education. Sir, this vehicle being unregistered can be towed. Well, under U.S. Code 42, Section 1983, a violation of any of those previous things that I mentioned is a civil rights violation, which I can then sue you for your house, your car, and everything that you want. Incorrect. Uh, it still is the color of law issue of civil rights, and your civil rights have not been violated at this traffic stop because this is the same way everybody would be treated if their registration was expired, too. But please, let's continue on with the uh, persecution complex that you have here and see it off to its inevitable conclusion. Driving an unregistered vehicle, your vehicle can be towed. That is color of law. Sir, it's in, it's in black and white. It can be towed. Well, you better read these U.S. Code 18-242 and U.S. Code 42-1983. And I suggest that you start reading the Tenth Amendment and start researching the uh, traffic statutes associated with your uh, state of residency. Because it would sure as hell save you a lot of grief in the end. Officer number two. Well, in the spotlight. Three days later. Roll down the window. It's down far enough. Roll down the window. I can hear you. Let me see your driver's license, registration, proof, and insurance. Uh, can those documents be used against me in a know. court of law? I'll let you know, okay? This driver's license is being recorded. Uh, All right, there's a lawful traffic stop, and you're required in Pennsylvania to produce so it's a, you know produce that documentation. Can can those documents be used against me in a court of law? Each other before. Yeah. And you're cordial then. I've learned a lot since then. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Softheart, uh, you have learned 
absolutely, positively nothing, not a zilch or anything else that has to do with the law. Sorry to uh, disappoint you, but you are a complete moron. Let's see the documentation. Can those documents be used against me in a court of law? Excuse me? Can those documents be used against me in a court of law? In what sense? Can they be used against me in a court no, of law? To identify you. Identify the ownership of the vehicle and the proof, you know, and make sure there's proper insurance. To be used in court against me, which goes under the Fifth Amendment, which means I do not have to give them to you. This is the last time I'm going to ask you. So, all right, if I don't give you these, what's going to happen then? We're going to take you to the station, all right, fingerprint you, okay? You're, you're going to arrest. place me under arrest? No, it's going to be a suspect ID at that point. Well, all right, all right. if you do that, what are you, what's going to happen to my vehicle? We're going to have to tow it to the station. Are you aware that under U.S. Code 18, Section 242, that is a violation of deprivation of rights under color of law punishable by 10... Ten thousand dollar up the door punishable sir. by a ten thousand dollar fine per infraction. Where we're coming in. And under US Code forty two nineteen eighty three, that's a civil rights violation. Okay. And I can sue you for your house, your car, and everything you own. Okay. And have you uh, did you not swear an oath? Safe like repair, safe like replace. Um, oh, look at this. Look at this. What is this? What why is the reason for this? What is the reason for this? Hey, 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 and that is where the video ends for us, folks. He played those stupid games, and guess what? He ended up winning a stupid prize. I find it amazing that people will take this to the outright extreme in this scenario. Just keep on poking and poking and poking until you end up, well, in the uh, back of a squad car. I mean, how stupid do you have to be to play that kind of game? What is wrong with your life? But at any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.